Hello, wax flingers. What's going on? Um, I need to fix. Let's see. This will work. up better but it's not working darn it guys um i guess i'll have to just sit like this i just it's at a weird angle um right now but it looks like i'm on a boat <laughs> um i don't know what's going on with this i'm really I, I i don't know where my stand is for my phone and so it's just it's holding it back right now but i wanted to quickly talk to you guys what could i show up behind me there we go. That's a little better. Okay. It's kind of crooked. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because we are in full swing into our incentive period. Sorry. It's really annoying. Um, so we are obviously in full swing. We are coming up on our fourth month, August, September, October. Yeah. August, September, October. Yeah, we're about to be in an hour, our fourth month of the qualification period for the incentive trip, um, which is a Mediterranean cruise to Spain, uh, France, and Italy, which is crazy. Um, so at this point, um, if you started Sensi, like if you joined Sensi, you know, before the qualification period in August, or if you started like, you know, around August or whatever, and you've so far had a full um three months of this you should probably be like at least know where you're kind of standing with the incentive at this point i mean of course we still have november all of november all of december and all of january to go but it's very very important that one you created a plan in the beginning of this and if you didn't don't worry we're going to talk about that right now okay um but this is why it's crucial so next year for those of you if you haven't started your plan this this qualification period already next season it's just going to be hindsight for you and it's going to be like oh okay now i know what to do that's the beauty of this business you guys everything is trial and error so um you at this point if you have not created a plan that's fine you can readjust your plan readjust your sales um is probably the, the better lingo for it um because i hate how this is like amazing. i get like super ocd it's really bothering me this is like ah! you have to see this like way i'm rigging this right now. so anyway all right i'm just gonna leave it like that so anyway, um, yeah, so right about now, even if you didn't create a plan, or if you did, um, it's okay to readjust your sales if you need to. And I'll tell you guys, every incentive period, like, um, it was, I actually didn't create a plan for Disney. I just literally hustled like a maniac, to be quite honest. Um, Punta Cana, I didn't, I, I like, I had my, um my trip plan like on my computer like I had the tracking and stuff like that so I kind of knew what I needed and like I knew if I had people who were joining and needed to certify like I knew I was I was aware of the points that I needed and how I was going to get them but I didn't actually have a plan of how to go about it so this year um you guys know they have I don't have my binder with me um but this year since he had the um it's like an incentive tracker, like one that you can create. You could put a projected plan of what your your idea to win the, or your like projected vision of what, you know, the trip, the, blah, blah, the points that you need to earn the trip, and then your actual below it, all right? So I think it's important to adjust that as you go. And what I mean by that is, um, like, even for me, like this year, I had a full out written plan ready to go. But things happen and, and things, you know, don't always go as planned. So it's important that you're staying on top of your plan and knowing when you need to readjust that. Meaning, if I had, let's say, um, you know, like my target goal for August was th um, 3,000 PRV. And in August, I only had 1,800 PRV. So obviously, I didn't hit the goal that I was going for, right? For me, that was like a personal goal for me. Don't feel like you need to do that. But for me personally, I was like, August, I want 3,000 PRV. I'm going to start this incentive period off strong and whatever. Um, but then August came and went and I only had 1,832 PRV. So I knew that I had to buffer that somewhere. I had to get those extra points. So whatever that was, uh, let me see. 
um, 3,000 minus 1832, I'm bad at math, um, 1168. So I had to get a thousand and change, 1100 more points somewhere else, right? So obviously we know we get points for consistency. Like if you don't know the qualification period, like if you, or if you, not the period, if you don't know the qualifications rather, if you still don't know the qualifications, guys, it's very important that if you are trying to earn an incentive, one, that you should be fully aware of how the qualifications work. If you don't know, that's fine. You need to either go on your business references tab, like right now, look up the qualifications, because that's where they are. If you just look up the 2018 incentive trip fact, you'll see all the qualifications there. It lays it out in front of you, and it tells you exactly the credits that you need for each category or whatever um, to get you to your ultimate goal, right? So, um, and if you don't, like I said, if you're not, if you're really not understanding it and you need some sort of guidance, you can reach out to your sponsor or you can reach out to me or somebody in this group who is, is comfortable with, you know, um, the point system and all that. But anyway, it's important for you to understand how it works so that you know what you're going towards, okay? So if you, there's a certain level, but maybe let's say you came in your, you're like, like August 1st, you're like, I'm going for level four. Yeah, going on a boat. Woohoo. <laughs> and now you had a plan, right? But then all of a sudden you're coming up and it's the end of October and maybe you're not quite where you thought you would be. And I want to tell you guys, one, that is very common because we can't predict the future. We can only assume that we're that things are going to go our the way that we want them to. But if they don't, um, you know, now's not the time to get discouraged is my point. And so I know that a lot of times it's easy to be like, oh my gosh, like I thought I would at least have level one by now, but I'm not at level one. Like this sucks. I'm not going to earn this trip. It's I'm not going to go on this. Like, ah, you know, trips aren't for me. They're just for people like other people in Sensi. I don't do it. I can't do it. Like if you start doing that, you're putting that all in your mind. Mind, and guess what? You're not going to go on a trip. You're not going to get on the boat. You're not going to be in Spain because that's where your mindset is. Okay. So it all stems back. And this is the stuff that I talked about in the beginning of the qualification period in August. Your mindset is everything. You have to be willing to tell yourself that you have the ability to earn a trip through hard work, determination, and consistency. Okay. <clears throat> they are very attainable, but I do want to tell you that if you're at a point right now where you didn't think you were, let's say you came up with your projected business or a trip plan, and now you're not quite there, it's not time to throw in the towel. What you have to do at this point is you have to readjust your sales. You have to readjust your credits. You have to re like look at what, um, look at your PRV right now. Have you sponsored anybody in the past couple months who's maybe close to getting certified that you could check in with and help them reach certified? You know, not only are you know you're helping them reach certified, which is obviously helping your credits, but it's also helping them too because they get points when they promote and certify and things like that. Okay, so straight from the very beginning. I have always talked about with the, as soon as the incentive trip starts, August 1st, it needs to be, if you're looking to earn a level with the incentive, particularly at three, you know, level three and four, high sales and recruiting. <coughs> if you haven't been doing it, that's completely fine. You know, it's completely acceptable and fine if you just want to shoot for level one as your incentive and you want to get free registration to renew, that's absolutely fine. But I'm just saying more so for, um, you know, conversations I've had with people as far as getting on the boat and things like that, okay? But regardless of whatever the level is that you're shooting for, if it's not where you expect it to be right now, you have to readjust your, your trip plan. Mine is constantly readjusting. Like I said, I was shooting for 3,000 PRV in August and I had I had 1832. I've yet to hit 3,000 PRV this qualification period. And last October, I sold 4,000 PRV. And I was like, by October, I was like, yeah, I got this. this. This is awesome. You know, so I get discouraged on myself and I start comparing myself to last year. And I'm like, well, last year was this and last year was that. For those of you who were here last year who earned like, you know, a trip and maybe you promoted during the fall, you know, winter season. That also is a lot of trip points right there too. So you can't get discouraged on yourself if you didn't have another big promotion this month, this this time around, and so you're not getting those particular points. These are where I kind of stress in you know in the beginning when you're coming up with your trip plan on how you're going to achieve whatever goal you're going for. Try and do it assuming that you're not going to promote because if you if you do it on the if you plan it out as as if like oh yeah I'm going to hit director this this 
season, so I'm going to get this points, you know, um, and then you don't, that's when, you know, there's going to be a discrepancy there. So you really have to think, um, one, the level that you're going for, that's crucial, but if it's not where it is where you thought it would be, it's just time, it's fine, but it's just time to readjust it. I told you guys, I earned Disney in three months. I joined October 1st, and then I earned it by January, so time is not lost. We, we're just finishing up o October here. You still have all of November, December, and January. You still have three full months to rock out this incentive, okay? Stranger things have happened, so now is not the time to get discouraged, okay? Uh, for those of you newer consultants, again, don't feel like just because you're a new consultant that you can't earn this. Level one even, you guys, like I said, is amazing. So many people last year in this group earned level one, and all of the responses that I got for them were like, oh, but I just earned level one, that's it. I'm like, you still earn level one. It's so amazing. And let me tell you guys, getting from zero to level one is probably the biggest stretch because it's about half of what you need. <clears throat> Actually, it's exactly half of what you need for level four. So getting from level one or from, you know, nothing to level one is huge. And I remember last year, Getting myself to level one for Punta Cana, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to earn this. This is crazy. Like, there's no way. Um, but then once you hit level one, it's sort of a little bit easier to get to two, three, and four because you're only needing five more thousand each for each, um, you know, level or whatever, which tends to be a little bit easier, especially through the fall and winter or, you know, the holiday season. So <clears throat> at this point, basically what I'm telling you is, if you're not at, you know, where you thought you would be for the for the incentive, it's just time to readjust your sales. So you have to look at your current PRV, right? You have to also think about consistency, too. So for those of you who have been selling 500 PRV, five out of six months, you're going to get like 2,000 credits at the end come December, January. That's another 2,000 credits right there that are just going to all of a sudden come up. Um, you know, consistency paid at title. So whatever your title is, if you've been paid at your title five out of six months, you're going to get 2,500 credits or whatever it is at the end. So that's still like another 4,500 credits that you could earn just on consistency, okay? Um, every month that you're paid to your title, depending on what your title is, you get points for that also. <clears throat> and then obviously promotions, like if you have any promotions running on, I know we have so many people like literally, or people who have already hit lead, star, superstar, like we're about to have, like you're going to get points for that too, okay? So now is not the time to get discouraged. You just have to think like in your head, okay, Assuming I get this, um, this is what the points that will be that I have. But if I don't get it, um, you know, where can I buffer? That's really what it what it's all about. So for me, like for October, being that I didn't hit my three thousand goal in um, August, <coughs> excuse me, or September. I was close in September, but I wasn't as close as I wanted to be. Um, I had to kind of buffer there, too. So I, I considered my consistency points, and I'm like, I know for sure I'm getting, I absolutely know for sure five out of six months I'm going to have 500 PRV. That's without a doubt. It's without a doubt because I made it my mission. Because I tell myself I set a goal for 3,000 PRV, August, September, October, whatever, right? If, if that's a personal goal of mine, then I know for sure that I'm going to have my consistency credits, 500 PRV, five out of six months. <coughs> and, um, you know, getting paid at my title. I know for me personally, my track record in my business, and it's a point for me to do every month is get paid at title. So I know I'm going to have my paid at title credits. So inside my head, I'm already calculating <coughs> of like what I need, right? Now, for people who you sponsor, um, so for every person you sponsor, once they hit certified, you get a thousand credits. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't take a sip of my drink. Um, and same thing with Sensational Star. So depending on the level that they earn, level 1, you get uh, 500 credits. Level 2, you get 1,000. And then level 3, you get uh, 1,500 credits if they earn that. And they get credits as well, too, if they earn it. So um, the thing is with, with Frontline, who certify, and who earn Sensational Star, obviously you can't control that, right? But... You can control them being a mentor to them, helping them reach their goal, um, whatever that goal is, and making sure that they are fully aware of how it works in order to reach that goal, not only so that they fully know and understand, but you fully ne need to fully know and understand what it takes to be certified. You need to know and fully understand what the sensational start requirements are. <coughs> 
this just goes for being a good sponsor in general, regardless of the qualification period. If you're sponsoring someone, you have to understand how these things work so that you could train them, you could teach it to them, and they can go off and, and, and try to achieve it on their own. Um, and of course, if you're there kind of coaching them, mentoring them, um, you know, giving them some encouragement into reaching it, <clears throat> more than likely they're going to hit it, especially if you get them off to a good start, okay? So these are all things that we have talked about, um, you know, in the beginning of August. But I'm bringing it up again because now it's like the middle, and I know at this time people start to get burnt out. But I'll tell you guys, now is when it really starts. The hustle is, a, like, we're in the end of October. November is historically, like, known as the best time, like the best month you're going to ever have with Sensi. okay? That's like just by what history shows is that November is the best month. And I'll tell you guys, November, like I can't even with you guys. You guys are awesome. November last year was our best month as a group. We sold 40,000 um, GWV, 40,000 like in wax that we all sold as a group. Excuse me. We already surpassed that for October. We already over 40,000 sold in wax, you freaking bosses. Like, you guys are amazing. So, <clears throat> know that you're freaking amazing. Two, know that November's about to be even more insane. And three, this is where the hustle really starts, okay? So, I'm telling you, if you guys want to earn an incentive, keep your eye on the prize. That's first off. You know, readjust where you can. Um, if you have people who join during the qualification period and maybe they're about to hit certified, or actually, it, it's before even if they even if it's before August, I think if they join, um, if they haven't cert if they certify from August and on, then you'll get the credits for that. So look at your reports, guys. This is what it's it's just being aware. That's all that it is. So if you sponsored anyone, run a performance tab on you know go to your performance tab and run a report on your workstation and see who, you know, is about to certify and maybe check in with them and give them some encouragement or see how you can assist them <coughs> in, in teaching them how they can get to certified, you know, by getting parties on their calendar or maybe following up with people, you know, on their on the orders, uh, in their order history and see who maybe needs to place an order. Give people ideas. That's all you have to do as a consultant. You, as a sponsor rather, you, the advantage that you have when you sponsor someone is that you started before them. So all you need to do is show them what you know. If you have parties on your calendar consistently every month, it's going to be really easy for you to teach that to your new consultants because you're going to say, this is how I get my parties on my calendar. These are the types of parties that I do. <coughs> These are the games that I play at my parties. These are the ways that I talk to people about the business opportunity. This is the, like, that's the best thing about being a sponsor. And honestly, sometimes people are so kind of nervous to sponsor and think that they don't, they're not going to be good, you know, mentors and stuff like that. But as long as you just like teach people what you know, you'll be fine. Because that's all that I do. And that's all that any other successful, you know, Sensi consultant does who ha who sponsors people. You just teach them what you know, right? Because that's all you can do. So anyway, I'm not going to go on a whole rampage about that. But basically, I'm just telling you guys, if you're at a point right now, it's just time to readjust things. Okay, so see who's close to, if you've sponsored anybody, see who's close to hitting those goals like certified and sensational start and just check in with them. Again, you can't control that, but you can control your PRV and your PRV is literally free credit. So you control the amount of PRV, aka points to your incentive by you. Okay, so this means <clears throat> if your November calendar is looking blank right now, you guys, it is time to put the pedal to the metal because November is only going to be as good as you make it, but I'll tell you it's going to be the best month you're ever going to have if you really put your heart and soul into it. So all you have to do is get parties on your calendar and not just random orders. You need to get parties on your calendar. So when following up with people, <coughs> my throat is dry. I don't know why I'm coughing so much. Um... When following up with people, you know, offer a party before you're going to offer, like, find out if they want to order from you or want to place an order. If you have someone interested, you do personal incentives to get parties booked. Look up vendor shows, fundraisers this time of year. You guys know I'm doing that buddy drive. Contact local, um, you know, businesses in your area, dance schools in the area to see if maybe you can, you know, if they want to do a fundraiser for the holidays or whatever. People are always looking to raise funds in one way or another. And that's an excellent way for you to expand your business, get the PRV, and also help people out in the meantime. But obviously, you know, vendor shows and things like that. Like, I actually have one um, this weekend that I'm going to be doing that I know for sure 
is is obviously I'm going to be meeting people, but it's also going to help toward my PRV because it's right before the holidays. And usually people at those types of places, they like to purchase, you know, for the holidays. So either way, whatever that you have to do, if you make it your mission to do it, you'll do it. If you tell yourself that you want something, I don't care what it is in this world, when someone makes up the mind, yes or no, that's when that's when the magic happens. Do I want it? Do I not want it? Am I going to earn it? Am I not going to earn it? <clears throat> you know, when you really have the control over that as far as your PRV goes and your consistency and you're getting paid at title and things like that, okay? So, um, I guess what my whole point to all of this is before me rambling is don't just throw in the towel at this point and think that all is lost because you still have November, December, and January. And that's three full months that you could literally boss it out and you could... What the hell's going on outside? <clears throat> Sorry, that's loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, and you can literally earn an incentive um, as long as you're setting yourself up for that, okay? Um, and regardless, like I said, because I know I spoke to a few people who are like, oh, I'm not even at level one yet. Level one is still freaking amazing. You're getting free registration to Sensi Family Reunion in freaking An Anaheim, California, which is, like, ridiculous. Like, I mean... I love incentive trips. Like I, I think that they're amazing and they're, you, you feel like your hard work is paid off for sure when you finally go on an incentive trip. But like reunion, it will be a straight up game changer in your business. So even if you can you know, get free registration for that, that's still really amazing, you guys. So I don't want you guys to get discouraged because I know I've been hearing a lot from a few of you about how you don't feel like you're going to earn it and this year you know, you, you weren't where you thought you would be. I'm not even where I, where, I, where I thought I would be during the qualification period right now. But readjust your sales. Look at your trip plan right now and see how you can change it around. See what points you have now. Maybe you didn't hit your PRV goal, but you could switch it up somewhere else. You know, or maybe you didn't have that 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 front line that, you know, didn't certify because all of a sudden they decided to stop working their business. You can't control that. If you base your trip plan around that, if you base anything off of someone else, you're not going to reach your goals. <clears throat> so, just readjust. That's all you have to do, okay? If you had someone, like I said, who was waiting to certify it with Sensational Start and they didn't, maybe you could buffer it in with your PRV somewhere throughout the month, okay? And break it down month by month. For those of you newer consultants or the, or the people who, we, maybe I didn't chat with you too much about this in the beginning, I, I like, I don't know. Um, but like, you know, just kind of readjust things at this point now and just know that like break it down month by month. If you are shooting for level two, three, four, you need 20, 25, and 30,000 credits. If you just look at that and you're like, oh my God, I need 25,000 credits. I'm never going to get there. Look in the moment. Look at this month. Look at November. <clears throat> How many parties on your, do, can you, can you get on your calendar after you've already scheduled your family and personal time first, right? All of that stuff comes first. How many open days and availability do you have for parties on your calendar if you really, really, truly push yourself to do so, okay? I'll tell you what I do. I have, and I have zero parties on my calendar for November, you guys. Absolutely zero. But you know what? I'm still shooting for level four because I want to take my husband on a cruise. So I have zero parties on my calendar. But do you know what that means? That means I need to hustle that much harder to get parties on my calendar. Okay, I literally have one Facebook party on my calendar, and I don't consider Facebook party PRV at all for myself, personally, but this is what I do. So I have all of these Fridays here that could take up a party spot. So I know for myself, I have about three to four home parties is my goal for November. Judging by my history, I don't usually get that many home parties on my calendar. I do one to two. In the busier months, I've had three, but for the most part, it's one to two. Oh, excuse me. Um on my calendar and I'll be good with that if I have that but like right now I have nothing no parties on my calendar no home parties on my calendar so that means oof, I have like an itch sorry um that means I really need to start like hustling I've been following up like a maniac with people and so far I've heard nothing but that's not stopping me guess what I did an event um uh, a couple weeks ago I had posted pictures about it that weekend I had a whole bunch of drawing slips here these are just some of them um of people who I'm going to be contacting you know, with inter with trying to book a party, I met with a customer today. She she um she ordered for me like a while ago, like a year ago. At my I actually did an event at my son's school when he was in pre K. 
<clears throat> and she placed an order and then that was it. And she actually just texted me yesterday saying, hey, um, I want to place an order. Do you think that you can meet up with me? I want to smell the scents. Do you have them? I said, yes. I went to her house. I literally just got back at like 11 o'clock. And um, I smell the scents of her. But do you know what I also said as I was talking with her? I said, because um, we were talking about like what she wanted and the scents. And I literally just asked her. And I said, listen, let me ask you. I said, I'm running a promotion this month. Because um, she said how she was ordering the warmer for her sister. But she wanted, she really wanted the country light also for herself and I was like well listen I said I'm actually running a really awesome promotion in November I'm giving away a free warmer of your choice if you think you want to get some uh, girlfriends together for a fun sensi night in November and she said you know what that doesn't sound like a bad idea um, I'm gonna ask around first and I said okay sure ask your friends first but then you, you know we just kept talking about it, it I could have just chose just to take her order right then and there and not even offer the idea of a party and I would have just been on my merry way. Now, of course, I didn't have the actual party book, but because we already had the conversation, I'm going to be following up with her. You know, when her order comes in in the next week or so, I'm going to check in with her. Hey, did you ever get to a chance to chat with your girlfriends? I know we talked about the idea of, you know, having a Scentsy party in, you know, November. Um, what's going on kind of thing. And check in with people. Go through your orders history, you guys. You have to get parties on the calendar. Parties, parties, parties are going to be the bread and butter of your business. Not placing a random $45, 50 dollar order here or there have a party where you have 10 to 15 people who are placing 40 50 dollar orders here and that's how you earn high prv is through parties okay and especially through the fall and winter season you're going to see people are are ordering way more than they normally would so i have about four to five spots on my calendar for facebook or home parties now i also have one two three four well I'm going to say three spots because the 20th is Dylan's Cub Scout night. So I have three spots on my calendar for Facebook parties, you guys. Now, Facebook parties, I don't really get that much PRV, but I do meet people. I meet people who are interested in the business opportunity because I go live on my parties and they see me and I talk about Sensi. So, you know, that's more people of more interest, more network, more eyeballs, more people who I'm adding to Facebook. I'm doing that. I have four pouch parties that I try and get out at, at the end of every, or at, you know at the beginning of every month. I actually have one out right now that should be coming back that I'm going to push into November. Um, you know because I know like I probably could use that PRV in November since I already have um, you know my goal that I have here. So it's all about just like readjusting whatever you know if you started out with one goal and it's not turning out the way that you wanted it look at it now and just be like what could I change now like what maybe I didn't hit my PRV that I wanted maybe I didn't have the you know the, the team members that joined on hit certified like I wanted them to maybe I didn't get paid at title you know X amount of months and now I missed out on those credits so where can I buffer I think you just have to be informed you have to know the credits you're going for and you have to know how to get them and you have to know where you can like uh, move it around okay but you cannot give up no matter what you cannot throw in the towel and say I'm not gonna earn this trip so that's it like wouldn't you rather just try your hardest and you know and so in the end you can be like well at least I know I tried instead of throwing in the towel and be like you know what? I didn't even try at all had I tried harder I probably would have earned it you don't want to say that okay so anyway <laughs> Sorry to get so real with you guys right now, but I was actually just um, looking at my trip points right now and I was doing some readjusting. So that's why I wanted to come in here and talk to you guys about it because my goals, I'm not hitting my goals like I wanted to in August, September or October as far as my PRV goes. Like I said, I'm comparing myself to myself last year when I had 4,000 PRV and I literally only had one home party this month. One home party this month. And last year, I think I had three home parties on the calendar last or last year. So it's all, you know, that's another thing too is try not to compare. Even though, even if, you know, you're comparing to yourself, I know that that's way better than comparing to other people. But, like, try not to compare because it doesn't matter what someone else is doing or where on track someone else is or, you know, what they're doing. And, you know, and I know, especially on this page, too, it's very easy to feel that way because a lot of people are getting shout outs and a lot of people are earning things and promoting and all this other stuff. And so you start to be like, oh, man, what am I doing? I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing half, it, half as much as that. You are an independent business owner, and that's all you need to worry about is you and your business. You do not need to worry about what other people are doing because if you focus on that, it's going to keep you down, okay? 
So anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. I want to let you know I'm still rooting for all of you. It's okay if you need to readjust your sales. It's okay if you need to readjust your goal. Maybe you're coming into this and you're like, you know what? Like, I thought I was going to reach level four, but I'll, I think I'm going to just hit level one now. That is completely fine. But keep that goal in mind, even if it needs to be readjusted. Know what you're shooting for. Know how to get there, okay? I love you guys. I'm going to leave you off with that. If you guys need any help with anything, please let me know. I kind of love talking about this stuff um, only because I didn't keep track for a really long time in my business. And now that I do, I see such a turnout because you have that to compare from like year over where you can be like, oh, okay, this is what I did last year. Let me try doing this this year. You have that. You guys always hear me say everything in your business is trial and error. Okay. So if you need any help or coaching or guidance, please, please reach out to me. Um, and I'd be more than happy to help get you guys on track um, with the incentive. Okay. I love you all. I'll talk to you later.